Hello and welcome to Campbell River School District and Campbell River's International Student Programs. My name is Mercedes Hadek and I'm the manager for the International Program here in Campbell River. Today I'm going to introduce myself and share a little bit with you all about Campbell River, what it's like to live here, go to school here, and live with a host family in Campbell River. Campbell River is located on the east coast of Vancouver Island, a very large island. We're about a three hour drive north of the capital city of Victoria. Campbell River has its own airport and is a very quick 35 minute flight from Vancouver International. Students can also travel to Comox Airport, which is about 45 minutes away. The Campbell River Airport is only a 10 minute drive from your host family's home. Campbell River is a city that's about 15 kilometers long. We're nestled on the one side by the ocean and behind us, the majestic mountains of Vancouver Island and Strathcona Provincial Park. It's very common here in Campbell River to enjoy a beach fire and enjoy the views offered by living and spending time on the beach. It's sometimes we're lucky enough to even see some wildlife like orcas, sea lions and dolphins. Campbell River is located on the 50th parallel. For us, that means milder winters with only a little bit of snow, maybe the odd day. For the most part, our average temperatures in the winter are zero to five degrees and usually rainy. In the summer, we'll have temperatures ranging between 12 and 24 degrees. You can see from these images here, we benefit from some incredible sunsets and we love our cherry blossoms when they bloom in the spring. Campbell River is a safe and welcoming community with a population just over 45,000 people. We have all the comforts of a city, but we're small and intimate. We're the kind of place where people say hello on the streets or good morning. We have movie theaters, restaurants, several sushi restaurants, coffee shops, Starbucks, Tim Hortons, and lots of arts, culture, and recreation. Campbell River is a very active and healthy community. Most of our people enjoy the outdoors. Our host families enjoy going hiking for dog walks. And there's lots of opportunities for students to get involved with local arts, culture, and recreation. Campbell River's International Student Program believes strongly in building long lasting global connections through cultural exchange. Our mission is to bring together students, host families, teachers, and so that students feel a lifelong connection to our community and to our host families. The Campbell River School District extends beyond the city of Campbell River, north towards the town of Sayward and south towards the Oyster River area. This area also includes several islands, including Reed Island, Cortez and Quadra Island. In total, we have about 5,500 students at 17 different schools. For our international student program, the majority of our students join us at one of our two high schools, Cary High Secondary and Timberline Secondary. These two schools offer grades nine to grade 12 and operate on a semester system with both a September and January intake. I would like to introduce to you our international team. Of course, myself, Mercedes. I've been with the program for over eight years first as a homestay parent and then the homestay coordinator and now as the manager for the program. We have Karen Giesbrick, our program administrative assistant who's been with the program for more than 10 years and so brings a lot of knowledge to our program and helping with the, running the business side of our program. Rhonda Teramura is our homestay and wellness coordinator. She's focused on ensuring that our students feel well supported, and a sense of belonging in their daily life, as well as with their host families. And of course, Kim Stix, who's with us, this is her fifth year with our program. She is making sure that our students are doing well in their academics and supporting them with course changes and all things academic and at the schools.
I'd like to spend a little bit more time talking about our two high schools that we have here in our school district. We have Cary High Secondary in Timberline. Cary High Secondary has about 900 students and 30 international students, whereas Timberline has 850 students and 30 international students. As a international student, you can choose to study for a semester, academic year, or a graduation pathway. We have September start or January starts. You will definitely gain a Canadian cultural experience being here in Campbell River and your English language will develop faster than you can imagine. There's nothing like being immersed in the English language for language development. We have a very diverse and intimate program. We only accept 60 international students each year. It's the kind of program where we know all students by name and we're able to attend to the needs of the student one-on-one. -on -one. Our largest cultural group in our international program is from Germany, followed by Spain. After that, we have students from Japan, Taiwan, and other uh, European countries. I mentioned earlier our academic advisor, Kim Sticks. She focuses on school supports for our students. She's also our district ELL coordinator and supports our students from an ELL perspective. She offers graduation supports to our students, as well as liaising with teachers, course selections, all things academic for our students. What you're going to find at both our high schools is a high level of academics. Every school in British Columbia is required to offer high level academics and electives. It's mandated by the provincial government of British Columbia and the Ministry of Education. You're going to find science classes, math classes, English, social studies, all kinds of social sciences and languages such as Spanish and French. Electives, you have many electives to choose from and they are required by the Ministry of Education from robotics, baking, foods, to leadership, concert band, yearbook, and PE classes. You have so many choices for your electives. School life can be very rewarding and very engaging. Teachers enjoy offering as many hands-on opportunities as possible and lots of support for students. Teachers are available often before class, after class to assist students with whatever supports they require. We do have some differences between Timberline and Cary High Secondary. And now I'm gonna to talk to you about some specialty courses offered at each of these schools. For students who are coming to Campbell River to enjoy an outdoor experience, I strongly encourage them to join the Outdoor Adventure Program. This is an integrated program over the entire semester from September to January. These 26 students will spend every day together, not only earning academic credits, but also exploring the nature that our island offers. As you can see from these images here, students will go backpacking and mountain climbing and canoe take trips, canoe trips. Students will also study and earn credits for geography, comparative civilizations, and Middle Earth. While earning these credits, students will also, as you can see from the list of trips here, will visit some of our local islands, go on a bike trip, and backpacking and hiking trips. Timberline also offers some exceptional technology courses. They have a brand new computer lab and several teachers who teach artificial intelligence, computer programming, web development, digital media, digital art and design. There's many options for students to choose from if they're interested in these technology courses. Now I'm going to talk about some specialty courses offered at Cary High Secondary. You will find recreational sports at both of our high schools. However, Cary High also offers high performance academies for basketball, soccer, 
volleyball, and hockey for both girls and boys sports. This image here is of our 2018-2019 uh, carry high captains for all of our sporting teams. We have a very strong volleyball team um, as well as both girls and boys soccer. You also will find at Cary High the North Island Ignite High Performance Athletic Training Center. This is an extra program outside of the timetable where they meet two mornings a week and one afternoon a week in order to become better athletes. It's a holistic approach to increasing the athletic performance of students regardless of their sport of choice. Another very unique course that takes advantage of our natural resources in our backyard is our Cary High Fly Fishing course. This course runs all year long. It's available for both semester one and semester two. Students will learn how to fish in our rivers and lakes that surround Campbell River. We're so fortunate here that the Campbell River, which is famous for salmon fishing, is located only a five minute drive from Cary High Secondary. This course is a double block. Students will earn an English credit as well as a science credit while learning how to fish. They will not only learn about the ecology and the conservation for our rivers, but they'll learn about the life cycle of the salmon and trout that are found in our local rivers and lakes. A piece of advice I would tell a student coming here is to come with an open mind since you're gonna um, come and everything's gonna be different from your country. You need to accept and challenge yourself. Yep. And um, an advice I would say is probably step out of your comfort zone and really talk to everyone. It's hard at the beginning but at the end of the year you will be really glad that you did it in the really start of the year. Yeah. yeah. Daily life in Campbell River is not all about school. Yes, you spend the majority of your days at school while you're here, but we have lots of other things to offer you as well. Located only a 25 minute drive from Campbell River is the base of Mount Washington. Students can take the shuttle bus to the top of the mountain to enjoy a day of skiing or snowboarding. We have lots of hiking in our neighborhood as well and on the right here you see a photo of some of our students looking out at the height of the lookout trail. For students who really enjoy sports and taking advantage of our recreational opportunities, we have an all-weather turf for soccer. We also have a fitness complex which offers many sports for students like tennis, a gym, workout, we have a pool and fi other fitness facilities as well. Do you want to earn your high school diploma in British Columbia? Come earn your Dogwood diploma with us in Campbell River. We take students and re recommend that students arrive in grade 10 for three years of study for their graduation. It is required that you do a minimum of two years for the high school diploma. Our graduation pathway offers a significant amount of support for students who are here to graduate. Starting in grade 11, we run a graduation club meeting with our students several times a year to ensure that they're meeting their graduation goals. There's support for university applications. And because of our unique partnership with North Island College, we're able to guarantee admission to North Island College for the two-year university transfer program where students would spend two years at North Island College and two years finishing their bachelor's degree at a local university. If you're looking to get involved with your school, we recommend that you join one of our school clubs. Our schools offer many different kinds of clubs, but here's a few unique offerings. First of all, Teen Flight, where students get together twice a week to build an airplane. This is a small two passenger airplane, but students are very involved and hands-on with building the airplane. Other clubs include badminton, chess, sports, sports leadership, yearbook. There's so many opportunities for students to get involved with the daily life at the school. 
Maybe you have a talent for performing, then I encourage you to join one of our musical theater programs, concert band, or choir. Both of our high schools have musical theater and concert band. These are excellent ways to meet other students and to make some really good friends. But maybe you are interested in some activities that aren't offered at the school. Well, no worries. These activities are also offered in our community. They're separate from the school, but they are available to all of our international students, whether it's dance, ballet, swimming, swim club, gymnastics, martial arts, or even community sports. There's so many opportunities for you to get involved. Probably one of the most important things for you is your homestay. This is where you sleep every night and this is where you're fed and cared for by a host family run by our own organization. Rhonda Teramura is our homestay coordinator and she is focused on ensuring that your emotional and mental well-being is well looked after during your time here in Campbell River. Our staff has weekly meetings to review our students and to ensure that everybody is doing well. We plan lots of activities and fun so that students can feel a part of our program. We work with our host families and our students. If they're struggling at all, we work with them and coach them to help them feel comfortable, safe, and a sense of belonging with their host family. And hopefully your host family will become your second family based in Canada. We have amazing host families who go hiking, take students out on the boats fishing. No matter what the host family activity is, they are supportive of our international students. We have all kinds of host families. Some have no children, some are older, some have young children, some have teenagers. Every international student will have their own private room. They will have all their meals taken care of and healthy snacks. Students have the option to make their own lunches or buy a lunch at school and will be expected to make their own breakfasts. No matter what, you'll have a caring Canadian family who lives close to your school and will be able to support you every day while you're here in Campbell River. Our international program also offers activities, both low cost and free activities, as well as some fee-based activities. For example, we have our orientation in the very beginning in September, which is included in your fees. We'll do a couple little activities through the fall, such as maybe going bowling or to go see a movie. And these things can cost five or $10. Some of our more exciting and bigger things that cost a little bit more money are our trips to Vancouver, Victoria, to Fino to go surfing. Our trips to Vancouver and Victoria, we always take some time for some shopping in the big city as well as sightseeing. I mentioned earlier that Campbell River is well known for its beach fires. It's so common to go down to the beach, have a fire and enjoy the gorgeous view. I hope in September we can welcome you to the Welcome Beach Fire if you choose Campbell River for your study abroad experience. With Mount Washington only 25 minutes away, we also try to organize several trips up to the mountain on professional days. We don't want you to miss school, but when there's a break in school, we'll try to organize a trip to Mount Washington for all of us to go skiing together. Here are some photos from some of our previous trips to Vancouver and Victoria. And just some photos of our activities and our more casual gatherings that we have during the year at Campbell River. Of course, one of the saddest moments is our international farewell party in June. We always like to organize a farewell for everyone to wrap up the year and to say goodbye. Here are our fees for the 22-23 school year. This is for the September 22 intake. And of course, I invite you, if you have any questions about our program, please contact me, Mercedes, at international at sd72.bc.ca. Thank you for your time today. If there's one thing that I can say, it's that study abroad is the best gift that you 
can give yourself. You will make lifelong connections and friendships, and you'll have an unforgettable experience.